Hi everyone, welcome to Zion Troopers, a show where we learn about the goodness of God and have fun while at it. And today I actually this weekend is Easter holiday. And just like the way Christmas is very very important to Christians, Easter is also the same, very very important because we learn about the death and resurrection of Jesus where we get where we got our salvation. And today I will be joined by kids from SK St. Andrew Zimamanto. They will be joining me in learning about sin and salvation. Welcome back. And which show is this? Zion Troopers. And this is Zion Troopers. And I am joined by the amazing kids that are from ACK St. Andrews in Zimmerman, isn't it? Yes. Now, today we are going to learn about sin and salvation. But before that, we are going to have a word of prayer. So who is going to pray for us? Okay, yes, Peter. Our dear Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence, O oh Lord, this moment. I want to thank you because of the gift of life you have given unto us, O oh Lord. I pray, Jehovah, Lord, that you may bless us as you are starting our show, O oh Lord, and may, your, and may your name be glorified in this show. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. Let's say amen. Amen. Okay. So now we are going to start our lesson. And our lesson today is about sin and salvation. You know what? you know about sin and salvation. We, we will talk about sin and salvation. Now, who can tell me what it means to be perfect? Do you guys know what it means yes. to be perfect? Yes. yes, Janice? It means that you know something and the others do not know. Some of them know, but some of them do not know. Okay, that's a nice trial. Yes, who else? Yes. It's being good at something like being good in talents, yeah, like being good. it's been good in something. Anybody else who knows the meaning of perfect? Okay, now perfect means be good, being good in something, like you have no fault. You do something kabisa ile enye inakuwa nzuri kabisa. So now, who do you think in this world is perfect? Yes, Colin? Look. Look. Let's clap for ourselves for those trials. Okay, the only person in the whole world who is perfect, it's only God. You know why God is perfect? Yes. yes. Why do you think God is perfect? Yes, Jane. Because he created everything. Because he created everything. Yes. Yes. Because God created us in his own image. Yes, in his own image. Yes. Because everything that you see that is living he all he created them but in short the physical features <laughs> wow okay <laughs> yes any other yes peter god has never committed any sin wow perfect now god has never committed any other any sin anybody else with the last trial okay now okay yes pass it on he committed no sin Yes, he has committed no sin. Okay, wow. Let's clap for ourselves. Okay, now the reason why God and only God is perfect is because he has never, ever committed sin. Do you know what sin is? Yes. yes. Okay, wow. <laughs> yes, Martha? Sin is something you do and you say. Sin is something that you do or you say. Okay, nice trial. Yes, Colin? Sin is something that you think, you hear, you say, or you see that does not please God. Wow, yes, nice. Good, 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 good. Who else? Yes, Jane? Sin is everything you do, you think, you say that that does not please God. Wow, perfect. Pass it on to her. A sin is something that does not please God. Wow, nice. Okay, let's clap for ourselves for the trials. Okay, now sin, sin yani dambi. Sin is something you do, say, 
or think that is not according to God's God's will and according to the Bible. So do you viewer at home what what is your take on the meaning of sin? If you do know please kindly text us with the number that is running through your screen. Okay now what what are types what what are some of the sins we do us as humans? Okay, yes. Like sometimes stealing we steal that that's a sin so that that's a bad, very big sin okay another sin we lie we lie yes we lie yes mother we something we we, we fight we fight yes we fight that is also sin in fighting is not it's not good according to the bible sometimes you kill someone wow you kill that's that that's a very big sin isn't it yes yes sometimes you disobey yes we disobey our parents that that's a sin yes look and working with bad company friends yes bad company friends that's a nice trial yes mother by calling bad names are calling each other bad names is that that's bad isn't it yes like when you're called a bad names you usually feel bad yes yes one last trial by insulting others yes insulting others that's that that's a very big sin isn't it yes. now we we are given some of the now like you've said that that stealing stealing fighting what else have you said lying, lying is disobeying. disobeying parents it's one of the sins we are also in the 10 commandments by the way we are told that we should not steal we should not murder murder we should not commit suicide yes suicide we shall not covet we shall not covet we shall not steal other people's property we shall not worship idols honor your father and mother okay so those are some of the things that god tells us not to do now when you do those things in the 10 commandments that god tells us not to do that's sinning that that's how we call that that's what we call sinning now like before we've said all the 10 commandments that we are supposed to obey now when we disobey those commandments that is called sinning now we have all stated all the 10 commandments we have all stated the commandments but we have not stated all now i'm going to read for you where the 10 commandments are from and i am going to start okay now it is from the book of exodus chapter 20 verse 3 to verse 3 to 17 okay now I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other God, that is one. You shall not make you shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on earth, that is two. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold your hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name, that is three. three. Remember the Sabbath remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy mm. that is four higher honor your father and mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you that is five, five. you shall not murder that is six. six you shall not commit adultery that is seven, seven. you shall not steal that is eight. eight you shall not give false te- testimony against your neighbor that is nine. nine and finally you shall not covet your neighbor's house those are all the ten, ten commandments. commandments can we all say them do we no we just say them randomly okay can we say them okay one we all know them okay now let's start yes Janice oh no yeah you, that you should not murder. You should not murder. Yes, Pastor Collins. Do not covet. You should not covet. Yes, mother. Honor your mother and father. 
Yes, we should honor our mother and father. Yes, Chani. You shall not make other gods. You shall not make other gods and bow them to praise them. Yes, that's another commandment. Yes. You should not accuse anyone falsely. You should not accuse anyone falsely. You should not make idols. You should not make idols. Yes. You should not steal. We should. We should not steal. Steal. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, Joy. Do not commit adultery. Yes, do not commit adultery. Remember the. Remember the Sabbath. Is that it? Here. Yes, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Yes. Honor your father and mother. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's another commandment. You shall not use God's name in vain. Yes, you should not use God's name in vain. Pass it on. Do not covet. Yes, do not covet. Anybody else who has another one? So have they reached ten? Yes. yes. Have we all said ten? Yes. Okay. So the, those are the commandments that we are supposed to follow. Mm. When now we we don't follow them, we are committing sin. Sin. Now we humans, as people, we have a connection to God. Now, when you sin, the connection between you and God is cut. It's like we are like this. Me and God are us with God. We are this close. You you see. Yes. Now, when you sin, you break. You see. Yes. Now, with me and God. Now, you and God, we are this close. Now, when we sin. We break, we break apart. Now that is what sin does to the connection that me and you and God have. Now, I I have a small experiment, but we are going to do that experiment right after the break. Welcome back. And which show is this? Zion Troopers, and on which channel? CTN TV. And where are you guys from? ACK Saint Andrews Zimmerman. Now, before the break, I was talking about how sin disconnects us with God, and I had promised you an experiment on how to show you how sin disconnects us with God. God. Now, here I have balloons. Now, who is going to help me to blow the balloon? <laughs> Okay, Jani. Okay, Martha, Janice, and yeah. Okay, now we blow. Okay, let's blow. Okay, this is easy. Blow. <laughs> we'll blow. Okay. Don't blow a big. Don't blow a big one. This this is enough. Okay. This. <laughs> Okay, this is one. Wait. Just hold that. Hold that. Now. Okay, hold this. This was yours. Ah, yeah. The next balloon. You've closed yours. Okay, that's good. Will hold and this one. What in Kubo? Oh oh. Ooh. Okay. Metoboka. It's okay. We still have four mobile. Three mobile. Four. Okay. Now, help me. Give me this. Okay. Now, this is a balloon, isn't it? Yes. Now this balloon shows the connection between me and God. Now me and God, we are still like this. This is the connection with, between me and God before I committed sin. Now, what if I commit a sin? Some hold this for me. Now I will show you.
okay now like i said this is whoa. so this is the connection between me and god before i commit a sin okay who can give me one sin name one sin yes peter lying now lying what if i lie let's see what will happen who thinks what do you think will happen when they put the candle under the bal- balloon yes look the balloon will burst okay now let's see if it will burst It has busted. Okay, that's one scene. Let's relate the candle again. You know you've seen how? Okay, let's pick this up. <laughs> now it has that that's there. That's the connection between me and God when I commit a sin. Okay, now let's see if I commit another sin. Who will give me the balloon? This <laughs> one. Okay. Again, who will give me another sin? Yes. Lying. Lying. Okay, Stealing. we've lied. We've so lied lying. before. Yes. Stealing. Stealing. What if I steal? What will happen? Wow, <laughs> Another scary. pop. <laughs> it's scary. Hold yeah. this one. And the candle keeps going off. In a katako. Let's hope he eat a zimika. Sindia. Ah yeah. Another scene. <clears throat> Which other scene? Yes, Martha. Disobey our parents. What if you disobey your parents? What will happen? Wow. Akai kando lime zimika tena. Ah yeah, the last scene. Now, for example, I have committed a sin. I have said guy. Which sin have I how which sin have I committed? Yes, Collins. You've used the name of the Lord your God in vain. Yes, I've used the name of the Lord God in vain. Vail. Now what will happen to the connection between me and God? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> wow, eh? It's for Collins. It's popped. <laughs> now See now you see now this balloon it's popped eh? Can 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 I take another one to the Now you see when you commit sin now when I commit sin now let me use myself I have committed a sin now the connection between me and God it has broken now I look like this you see now this balloon <laughs> is like me When I've co- when I've committed that sin, I've become like this. Now can I remake this balloon? No. No, I can't. So now when we sin, this is how you become. Hmm? All of us will be like popped balloons. When you sin, you be like a popped Pop balloon. Unaitaka. <laughs> okay. Okay, the one, if you have your balloon, try and fix your balloon. Go try and fix your balloon, you tell me if you can fix it. <laughs> Try and fix yours. Can it be fixed? No. No, it can't. Now, you see, when you commit that sin, that's how you become. But when you accept Jesus into your heart, you be, uh, Jesus will renew you and make you like that balloon that you had, the beautiful big balloons, you know? Yes. Now, when you receive Jesus in your heart and accept him, you'll become like that whole balloon. Now, that's called salvation. salvation. But now we won't talk about salvation right now. We'll talk about it after the short break. Welcome back. And which show is this? Zion Trooper. Which channel? CTN TV. Which church are we from? SCK St Andrew Zimmerman. Yes, we are from SCK Church Zimmerman and before the short break I, w- I was sh- demonstrating how sin cuts the connection between me and God. Now I also mentioned salvation but I have a, sup- a guest who is going to teach us about salvation. Now let's welcome Auntie Teresa who is going to teach us about salvation. Let's welcome her. 
Hai 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 How are you? Hi Pati ya mwenzako high five mwambia mesalimiwa na anti treza Okay Mesalimiwa na anti treza Mesalimiwa Mesalimiwa na anti treza Are we learning something new? Yes What have we learned so far? Yes That when we sin it we will be breaking the commandment which God gave us Yes something else What else? Yes That when we sin we break the connection of God Yes when we sin what happens our connection with God separates And what happened our connection separates our connection separates And did we manage to fix the balloons No we did not manage to fix the balloons Yes oh my god but you know what we have somebody who can make us whole again And how can we become whole again Yes Bye bye by praying by praying somebody mm-hmm. else by repenting our sins so but, that God can forgive us exactly somebody else Peter by being born again by being born again oh, awesome one more one more one more person yes <laughs> obeying the commandments by obeying the commandments and you know what we can only become whole again through salvation and what is salvation what is salvation what is salvation Somebody else, somebody else. Yes, Newton? Being saved. Being saved. And what does it mean to be saved? Sure. Yes. Okay. That someone has brought you to another life than the other one. Sure. Mm-hmm. Good sure. try. Sure. Yes. Microphone. By, accept, by accepting Jesus Christ in your life. Exactly. Yes. We gain salvation by accepting Jesus Christ in our life. In our life. In And our you know what? Life. Salvation means being delivered from sin or from evil. Who can do that? Who is the only person who can do that? Pastor yes, Jay? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Give him the microphone. Uh-huh. Give her the microphone. Jesus. Jesus is the only person who can do what? Who can Jesus. grant us salvation. salvation. And we are, we, we are given salvation by doing what? Accepting mm-hmm. Jesus mm-hmm. in our lives. We accept Jesus in, in our, our lives. lives. You know what the Bible says in John 7, 7 38? Somebody? The Bible says that when we accept Jesus, streams of living water live within, within us. us. And who is the living water? Is there water that lives? No. Mm-hmm. Is there water that lives? No. Who is the living water? Who is the living water? Who is the living water? Jesus. Jesus is the living, living water. water. And we are going to show a small demonstration of how having the living water inside us can help us live lives that are Perfect away from sin. sin. We have pop balloon. Have we pop balloons? Yes. yes. I want to see if mine will pop. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Here we have a balloon. Can you see this balloon? Yes. In a cage. It, 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 it's, it's like it has something inside. It has something inside. And actually what is inside is water. water. This is water. It feels nice. <laughs> anyway, you know what? This you remember now this person here has accepted Jesus. Okay? Yes. yes. When when he has accepted Jesus, the living water is inside this person. Okay? This yes. shows a living person. Okay? Yes. Now this person has accepted Jesus. Jesus. Now we want to see when temptations come, when fire comes, will mm. this person this pop or, or will this person be destroyed by sin? Let us see. Auntie Sandy. Yes. <laughs> Jaribu is sorry. Ndiyo. To wash a candle. <laughs> Let me be ready with a towel. Just in case. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just in case. Let's hope the candle won't zimika like last time. Yes. Uh-huh. Now, let's okay. see. This is sin. These are temptations. Temptations, temptations, temptations. Now, let's see. Uh, I am scared. Okay. Are you Can scared you like be me? Careful. Yes. Who is ready to, to get a bath? A free bath? A free bath? A free bath? Ah. Uh, okay, it's not popping. What is happening? Aye. Aye? Aye. Is this kind of for real? Yes. Can we try again? This other side? This other side? But it's money. It's, it's not. 
it's not uh, the candle has, candle gone, has no. gone off but has our balloon popped no anti sandy let me again. relight again this balloon is not popping this balloon is not popping are you ready for it to pop yes, yes. yes. you will have a very nice bath are you ready for one yes, yes. are you ready for one yes okay Ooh. thank you now we see this person here even though there is temptations around even though he's burned through fire the person has what streams of living, living water. water we say this person has done what accepted, has accepted jesus. jesus christ in his life has accepted jesus in his life you see yeah. even though he he has gone through so many temptations many sins are coming and then this person who has accepted jesus remembers to do what to, to repent. repent what will happen will he get burnt no he will not be get he not get burnt no this is what salvation does to us when we accept jesus what is inside us streams of living water and who is the living water jesus, jesus christ exactly so when you accept jesus the living water is inside you and you not get burnt so what is the best thing to do to stay in sin or to have jesus yes microphone to have jesus to have jesus uh-huh somebody else somebody else give them the microphone mm -hmm. yes to to be in a living water to be inside the living water and you know what being saved does not mean you don't commit sin how many are saved here do we have somebody who is saved yes oh all of us have saved but you see even aunt sandy committed a sin what did she do yes <laughs> she called the name of god in vain she got the, the name of god in vain but you know what because she has the living water inside her when she repented the connection of god still remains so what do we do to have our salvation maintained number one what should we do yes accept jesus as our personal savior number one we have already accepted jesus now as our savior right yes so to maintain that salvation what should we do microphone where is the microphone yes we should repent when we sin we should repent when we sin yes, yes. somebody else that that we should make sure that we have the living water inside us exactly the first thing we should do we should always remember to pray say pray pray, pray. to maintain yourself in salvation number one pray. pray number two read the word of god because you know what happens when you read the word of god it acts like a helmet <coughs> Number one, helmet. When you have salvation, you have a helmet. Helmet, helmet. helmet of salvation. salvation. And the word of God is the spirit of the spirit of the spirit of God. Sawa sawa. Yes. So what are we learning today? So long as you have salvation, you are intact. The relationship between you and God is safe. safe. It is like it is connected. Sawa sawa. Yes. So whenever you commit sin, remember to do what? Repent. Repent. So long as you are born, born again, again, always remember to repent. repent. Number two, pray. pray. And number three, read, read the word of God. Ah, oh, these kids are awesome. Can you talk for yourselves? <laughs> Now wasn't that a great lesson? Yes. Let's say thank you to Auntie Teresa. Let's yes. close. Thank you. you. Now that was our lesson of salvation and now we are going to go to our next segment that is creative segment. Hello we at home. My name is Shani Skanyi and today I'm going to be singing for you a song. The title of the song is You Raise Me Up. When I am down and oh my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burned in me when i am still and i hear in the silence until you come and sit a while with me you raise me up so i can stand on my tails you raise me up to a constant me see is i am strong when 
I can be. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up who a can storm me see. You raise me up, you raise me up to more than I can be. Welcome back, and that was our creative segment. Hoping that you've learned something creative. And I have learned a lot, and we are going to try it out. Do we love stories? Yes. yes. We love stories. <laughs> Here is Uncle Steve with story time. Oh, awesome! Welcome back again. This is Zion Troopers, and I'm hanging out with. I am hanging out with Amazing Kids. Excellent. And this is Story Time with Uncle Steve. This is Story Time with Uncle Steve. How many are ready for a story? Everyone is ready for a story? Yes. Story, story? Story time. Story, story? Story time. Why? Because we are because you are amazing. amazing kids. Yes, you're amazing kids. Tell your neighbor you're amazing. You are amazing. Tell your neighbor you are an amazing kid. You are an amazing kid. Someone is telling teacher that teacher is an amazing kid. Is teacher, is Uncle Steve uh, an amazing kid? No. <laughs> you say, I'm an amazing? Uncle. Uncle, okay? Now let's get into our story today. Uh, now, uh, once upon a time, in uh, one of the villages, there lived a man who was blind. How many have ever seen a blind person? Uh, how does a blind man look like? He cannot see. He cannot see. Uh -huh. His eyes are closed. His eyes are closed. He has a, very, he has a difficulty in seeing. Has a difficulty in seeing. Guide him around for a dog. Yes, most of the times they use a stick to, to guide them through their, through their way because they are not able to see. Now in that village there lived a man who had... Uh, uh, but why don't they see very well and not watching where they are going? Why don't they? Watch where they are going and there are cars on the road. No, they don't have, they don't see, they don't have a sight. So what they do, they use their stick to guide them so that they don't fall down or step on something that can, can hurt them. Okay? If I closed your eyes, come here. If I closed your eyes, can you be able to go outside? Will you manage? You cannot. But if you have a stick, you'll be able to? You can manage. Because you've already seen the, the door. Because you have eyes. But if you didn't have eyes, you'd not be able to go, okay? Now this blind man was uh, invited uh, in one of our birthday party. How many love parties? How many? So he was invited in one of the birthday parties uh, by his friends, and it was at night. So he made his way to the birthday, they had some wonderful time. Uh, what do people do at a birthday party? They celebrate, they celebrate by dancing, dancing, dancing Eating, drinking, drinking singing. Uh, singing, a lot of fun, okay? So the blind man went there and they were, they were able to have good time, they had fun, until it was now time to return back home. And this blind man could always walk with a lamp. How many know a lamp? How does a lamp look like? Like a? It, and it provides what? Light. Because you need light. Hmm? How can you? You, know you can use. Eh? Yeah. Huh? You know when the powers are off, mm -hmm. as we have a lamp and it has oil inside and then it 
Yes, yes now that one. Now you can carry that lamp and walk with it and it can help you to have light. How can you see when he's holding the lamp? So we are coming there. How can you see when he's carrying a lamp? A lamp. And, and a light. So we are coming there. So he has a lamp and he has a and he's not able to see. Can you imagine that? That is a question that everyone was asking themselves. So it's from the birthday party, he has a lamp and he has a walking stick and it is at night. This blind man cannot use the light because he's not seeing. So he met a group of friends. What would you do if you meet a blind man carrying a, a lamp? Help him. Help him to do what? Walk, walk. Uh, some people will carry. carry the lamp. But when he met this group of friends, they started laughing at him because they knew you are blind and you are carrying a lamp. So what is the use of this lamp? Yet you are not going to... to but it is bad to laugh to people. To yes. People. But now this group of friends, they were just laughing at him. And they asked him, why are you carrying a lamp and you are not able to see? Do you know what the, the blind man, told, the blind man told, told him? I'm carrying this lamp because I know I'm not able to see, but I'm carrying this for the sake of you people that are able to see. So that in the dark, you can be able to see and not stumble on, on me. And then these people really regretted their actions because a blind man is carrying a lamp for people, yet they were laughing at him. He was not carrying for his own use. He was carrying this lamp for the sake of other people to see. What would you do if you had laughed at the blind man and then later you realize say that this... Sorry. You say? Sorry. And what else do you tell the blind man? I am sorry for... For? Uh -huh. I am sorry for, for laughing at you. Sorry for laughing at you? You could help him. You could help him. Uh -huh. There? I will say sorry for judging you. Sorry for judging? Uh -huh. I am sorry I regret what I have done. Yes, that brings us to the moral of this story. What is the moral of our story? Mm -hmm. uh, who has not spoken? Who has not spoken? Spoke. Uh -huh. You should? You should regret of what you didn't know. Uh-huh. You should, you, should, you should say please forgive me what, for, for what I did. You should say please forgive me for what I did. You should not laugh to the poor. You should not laugh to the poor. Last person. Uh, who? There. Okay. You should not judge people because they are made carefully and motherly. Wonderfully made, and God made them like that for us. Yes, we should not judge people because they are fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, you'll answer the next one, okay? Now, to the viewers who are watching from home, this is the moral of our story that we should not judge people and jump into conclusion. We should not judge people and jump, jump into conclusion. Instead, we should respect everyone despite of their physical conditions, okay? Yes. Because everyone is fearfully and Wonderfully. Yes, because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Now this is the moral of our story to the viewers who are watching us from home. That we should not judge people and jump into conclusions. Because all of us are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, God made us to be who we are, the way we are, for his own glory. Okay, say for his own glory. For his own glory. Now that brings us to the end of our story. From Zion Troopers, I'll see you again next time. And we say bye bye. bye. And that was story time with Uncle Steve. Did you kids enjoy this story? Yes. I personally loved the story. And you enjoyed it? I loved it. Sadly, now we are coming to the end of the show, but we'll still be back here. Same time and same place. And Chitrisa will be with us. I will be with you. Perfect. And which season are we at? Easter season. This is the Easter season. Should we wish our viewer a happy Easter? Yes. yes. And we say happy Easter. Happy Easter. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.